Hello, Kino Sword Records. Alistair Galpin here, our longest line of MM pretzels in 30 seconds. It's the 3rd of uh, March 2012, and if I get it, I'll go through all the evidence. Swiss timer set to 33 seconds. Let's go. Yep, we'll get it all like that. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, stop there. Now. Alright. Now, one hand in front of me, one hand on the handy cam. Damn it, you didn't stick in place. Okay, so we'll take you off. Alright, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Okay, 30. Now, let's just, uh, let's check with the ruler, okay? Well, first of all, we check if it's a straight line. Straight line? Hell yeah. Straight line. Now, let's just see. Okay, these are not touching the, the matting and a ruler. So, Check out the gap. Nah, less than five mils. And here's another gap. Less than five mils. Uh, and another gap. Less than five mils. Um, less than five mils. And that gap, well that's tiny. Less than five mils. So now, these are all commercial m and pretzels they were on a, a like a side dish side plate side platter whatever you want to call it so and as you saw they were all heaped in there when I started but they don't stack very well okay here are my packets of m and pretzels pretzel pretzel now these packets are open where's the open the open end oh here we go you see there the packet is open and uh, open. These, these pretzels came out of these packets. I had to especially import them or get them through a specialist importer because they're not normally available in New Zealand. My Swiss timer which I've just used and the surface is flat. Well quite clearly it's, the surface is flat isn't it because otherwise these dudes would just run away. So you see there? Okay now I'm going to uh, I'm going to blow these M&M pretzels so you can see that they are not on an adhesive surface. Okay, watch. I'll roll away.
see and there was a little piece of chocolate uh, that broke off even rolling away okay so these things were not on an adhesive surface very clearly and then I'm going to randomly just choose a few oh wait look you see there's an M&M the M&M symbol okay I'm gonna randomly choose a few we'll, uh, we'll bite them open and just see okay so now my uh, uh, you know uh, I'm closing my eyes okay so let's just check. we'll choose that one that one okay is that an M&M pretzel we'll find out has he still got the M&M here you can see the M&M by the way I've used these for other successful GWR events and uh, therefore they're looking a bit weathered but I'll bite into this guy let's see who is okay there's the kernel now we bite into that kernel I'll bite into it again Mm. Definitely M&M &M pretzel. We'll, we'll take another one too. Which one? That one. Hmm. You can see the M. M&M &M pretzel. Hmm. Now, according to the rules, I had to use commercially available M&M &M pretzels. These must begin in a pile, not in a line adjacent to the line about to be created. Well, they weren't exactly in a pile, but you know, these things don't stack very well. But I did have them here. On the plate in as close to what I can get as a pile they were on a side dish side plate side plate or whatever you want to call it so they were in a vessel <clears throat> I only used one hand the line was reasonably straight well compare that to much worse lines that it could have been so it was relatively straight and separation of no more than five mils in between and I only placed one pretzel at a time I think that I did all right Alistair Galpin here New Zealand three of the three 2012. Thank you very much.